guys, what's going on? It's Savage here, and today I'm coming at you with another Madden 17 tip video, and there's a couple things I want to say. I want to first of all thank all of you so much for the support. It's really, really awesome. This is why I love uploading tips, because they get the best feedback, in my opinion. I mean, it's actually not my opinion. It's straight up fact. Like, they get the best comments, best likes. Um, it's really, really a dope feeling. And also, for anybody asking me about my Bengals offensive ebook, you can go find that in the Ma How to Be Good at Madden playlist. It's called Offensive Money Full Scheme. It's It has AJ Green on it. It's really, you can't miss it, guys. And then there's a Google Doc in the description of that video. And if you haven't already, just make sure you go like that video, too. It really does help me out and helps me help you as well, because I know you guys like these tips. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how to stop man defense. Well, not stop man defense, but how to pass against it. Like, let's just say it's first and 10, and then you lose two yards if you try to run it, and then it's second and 12. You try to gain a couple yards back, wind up getting sacked. Next thing you know, it's third and 17, and your opponent's running quarters cover two. Man, it's pretty difficult to pass against cover two, man. Man press express, always OP. But listen, before I do hop into the tutorial, I know I've been saying a lot. I've, I literally just said that like two or three times. Before, I was like, let me, before I say this, let me say this, and then before I say that, let me say that. If we could get this to 150 likes, I will also go through all of your comments. Comment offense or defense, like runner, pass, zoner, man. Let me know what you guys want to see. Whatever one gets the most comments or like it's the top rated comment. And once this video hits 150 likes, that will be the tip I do tomorrow. So if we get like 50 offensive comments versus 30 defensive comments and this has 150 likes, tomorrow we'll get an offense and then vice versa. Let's hop into this tutorial today. Like I said, going to be showing you guys how to beat some man defense. I'm going, yep, full savage. The best man defense really in like when it's really, really long and it's difficult to pass the ball against man defense. We're going to be going up against quarters cover two man. I'm going to press because, you know, pressing is what your opponent would love to do in this situation because it's going to mess you up. Your receivers are going to get stuck and then you might not get anybody free. But... Savage is here for you. Now, I do also would like to just say another thing about my ebook. This play is in my ebook, but this is a modified version on how to beat man defense with it. This can also kill zone defenses too, but this is how you beat man defense with this play. So, we're going to fade route your tight end. You're, that's different than a streak. You're going to fade them. That's a fade route. This is a streak. A fade route is different than a streak. That's going to pull that strong safety up and back before you do the glitch so the glitch is is you're gonna you want your best receiver to be out there you want him to have a pretty decent release pretty decent route running pretty decent speed pretty decent all-around catching stats this is for your mutt your mutt players and if you're playing on head-to-head -head, you can make it a b if you're like the Steelers or something I have Pat Pete on him the best corner in the game in my opinion for athleticism and speed to make up for like lost ground if they get beat Watch how Antonio Brown gets open right here. You motion him out. You wait till it looks like he's about to set his feet. He gets a great jump on the ball. And just look at that separation right there. That was pure separation. Now, before I hop into the instant replay and you guys are like, oh, my God, how did you do that? I'm going to show you it one more time. Just fade route at Ladarius Green. Wait before he sets his feet. And we get a another oh of course it's not a sad it's not a savage video unless i mess up at least once in showing you guys how to be great in my tutorials so i'm waiting for them to get into the press position and we are going to show you that one more time right there a b just kills pat pete and we get wide open right behind him now you guys might be like all right how the heck are you doing that what are you doing right there well the reason i messed up on the second time is because i hiked it too quickly so you want to wait when you're motioning him out till it looks like he's just about to square himself and stand in front of the cornerback. So as soon as he's motioned out, instead of him squaring himself, since his route is him running like this, instead of squaring himself like this and then running like this, he's already in the motion. So instead of squaring himself, he just runs on an even, on like a full, on a sharper angle, and then he cuts. And since he has that cut, look at that. That's already like a two yard separation. The fade route glitches out the strong safety. So all that you have to do is just make sure that your quarterback can deliver a nice enough ball. Um, I would recommend possession catching that. Um, don't do what I did. That Don't rat catch. Rat catching isn't the move right now um, with all like the glitches and stuff. That's that's still going on in the game, which is completely understandable. It's every, and no game will ever be perfect. But here we are right here doing it again. Let's see that separation. Look at that separation. I did a rat catch again. Don't do that, guys. I just do it because I'm savage and I just like to be an idiot. 
but don't don't rat catch that try to possession catch it even aggressive catch it just in case the strong safety does notice you at the last second but for the most part he probably won't notice you see like right there i aggressive caught uh, i threw it a little bit too early you want to you want to try to throw it when the ball i mean when the receiver is about five yards after he does this motion right here so you want to just like wait all right so like he's about five yards he got the separation and then bang you can just dot him up just like that so you went when you do the motion it is a timing thing go practice this before you do it don't just go online and be like bro savage show me the best man beater right watch this run man defense against me all game i'll kill you but like don't do that definitely practice this once you see he's about five yards free see right there i went for the aggressive catch sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's just a 50 50 ball type thing but this is by far one of the most consistent man beaters rather than you just coming out and corner strike and stuff um but as you can see like we're going up against by far one of the most athletic corners and we're just we're killing them every single time it's just a matter of the fade route and the c and the um wheel route combination it's it's really ridiculous how how easy that is because like the way that the, the strong safety gets completely just look at that completely occupied that time it was my fault like i said i do make bad reads here and there and sometimes when i'm explaining myself i'm not really paying attention to what i'm doing but for the most part you guys know that my tip videos that i do give you are 110 percent the best things that you will find to become better Madden players because that's all I want I want more people to be better at the game and we're just killing them right here we're really dotting them up but yeah guys I hope this does help you beat your man defense that you might be struggling against I hope that now you can be like all right good old Sav taught me how to beat it so you just look at that he got about five yard separation that's normally what you should do don't be an idiot don't go for them stupid unnecessary catches even though you want to get them extra yards it's not worth it guys it really isn't it gives your opponent time to maybe even swap the ball out possession catch you get right on top of it it's really really simple and you see us we're getting this a good eight out of ten times look there's another one bang possession catch down to the one like you can't ask for much more than that there's and i'm gonna run it one more time because i don't want to be taking up too much of your time today uh, i just like to get these short little tip videos out to you guys just to you know just show you like hey like it doesn't matter your skill level anybody can be great bang another dot i actually got tackled into the end zone but yeah guys that's pretty much all i got for you today this is an instant like pretty much you're, you're you're gonna kill whoever's on that side of the field like it's 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 a given and it's it's really really convenient i hope this does help you if it does remember to leave a like below 150 likes comment what you want to see tomorrow and always have a wonderful rest of your night